Where should we start, people? I see some people talking about, uh, we should talk about Money Back Yo. We should talk about Utopia. Talk about Lizzo. The Lizzo, the Lizzo topic, we're, we're going to have to dissect, like, you know, we'll get to it. Just, just tell me where you want me to start. By the way, even Tate got free today. So Tate's not on house arrest, but he's still going to be facing criminal charges in a Romanian court. Um, I, I see a lot of people saying Lizzo. Some people saying too many topics. No, no, we got all the topics. Somebody says, let's talk about 50 cents and his tickets. Okay, you know what? Let's start out with tickets. Y'all want to start with that? Okay, so I got some more insight for y'all. You know, um, without saying too much or saying any of the names, the last stream that I did and I broke down the whole baby thing, I was, not that I speak out of the ass, but I was 100% correct. Everybody relevant in the industry reached out to me. I mean, everybody. And when I mean everybody, I'm not just saying random people. People connected to even these things. They all reached out to me and said, Ak, we thought because, you know, maybe you still don't really fuck with baby. You were going to be biased. You were absolutely spot on. Like, you're 100% right. And um, that was very encouraging because I always try to, like, you know, be very honest. But I did find out some more information and I try to, I'm, I'm going to try to give to y'all and hopefully help you understand what's going on in this game because fans usually believe and i'm a fan too so on surface level we believe when a guy can't sell out a ticket or can't sell out an arena or can't do whatever they're flopped like they're done like niggas is finished out here but there's a lot more plays to be done i'm gonna explain to y'all what's going on now and I'm going to explain to you why this money bag yo thing happened. And also, I'm going to tell you who um, they wish they could do it to, but they can't. I'm going to give you a hint on that. Cardi. Okay. We're, we're, let, me, let me break this down for you for a second. I don't think I'll blow your mind, but I'll give you some additional information you didn't know. Okay. All right. Y'all ready for the story? I know I know y'all love, love great stories, right? Y'all ready? And by the way, again, I'm keeping it super neutral because... Again, yeah, I might have little personal biases here and there, but the reason why we are, you know what I mean, we are number one for even the industry niggas who watch, watch like, you know, daily content or whatever, trust me, they all hit me. The reason why is because they know we're giving it up real and we're also, we know what we're talking about. So sometimes you got to put the biases to the side. Okay, so let me give you the story of what's really going on in this industry. Now, The leader in Torin currently, and I hope the story, you got to follow along. The, it, it, it's, you know, it, okay, start here. In the music industry, there's three big entities. Capital, no, not capital. I mean, Universal. Universal owns Capital. It owns so many other labels, Republic, where Drake and Nikki and everybody else is at. Then you have Sony. Sony owns RCA. Sony owns... Um, Epic and a few other labels. Then you have Warner. Warner owns Atlantic. Warner owns Warner Warner Brut well Warner Main and a few other things. And I think they just bought into 300. They just own, they own 300 as well. Now, why am I saying that? Because a lot of times to understand what's going on, you need to understand market share. By the way, you know who I ran into at a Drake concert when I went like the second time? I ran into this guy named Mike Kaiser. Mike Kaiser wanted to get on a call with me after I pretty much exposed um, Atlantic Records. And it wasn't that I exposed him, even though he's still an executive there. He knew everything I was saying was completely the truth. Except I'm just not in pocket or in bed with you guys, so I'm going to say what the truth is. So uh, remember when I said that, yo, Atlantic can stop spending. That's why Meek's not there. That's why um, Young Boy left. That's why Kodak, whatever, whatever. Great. So the reason why that happened is because Atlantic, which is owned by Warner, Warner took an IPO. If you don't know what IPO is, it's an initial public offering on the stock market, which made them a public company. And when you're a public company, people want to see that you are profitable each quarter. So what does that mean? What happens in music is you have to spend a lot. And I did not tell you this before. One executive told me when I was trying to get on my label shit, they say, sign 10 niggas. If one succeed, you pay for the rest. So that's how the music industry works, usually. That doesn't really make a great thing for um, the stock market. 
So what happens with Atlantic, Atlantic basically said, we got all these niggas catalog. We own them. We're not giving it back to them. If they're not popping now, we're just not going to spend more money on trying to get them popping. We'll just live off their catalog, which means we'll cut our our losses and invest in investing and we'll just gain profit. I think you guys are following me because I know you guys are smart. So that's how I was able to call out Atlantic. I said, that's what they're doing. They're letting all their talent go. Kodak, you could go to Capital. Young boy, you could go to Capital. Meek, you're now a free agent. They cut ties with every damn body. They cut ties even with PNB Rock before he passed away. Okay. So that was kind of easy for me to surmise and do. But why was that done? It's because of business and market share. And a lot of times us fans, and this is why this stream exists, we are fans, but we need, if we're going to really understand the game, we can't just be like these little dumb fans on Twitter or TikTok just thinking that, oh, it's just all about the music. There's a lot more levels to this. So let's get into the touring game for a second. You want me to break this down? I'll break it down. So the reason why I brought up the, mu the, the, the music label game is to tell you about market share. Now, what's happening in touring? It's happening all over. The number one um, um, company that does touring within the United States is a company called Live Nation. Okay? Remember what I'm telling you. Live Nation. And by the way, somebody just reminded me. Uh, they said, no, it's called X now, not Twitter. Yeah, you're right. So Live Nation is the company that is throwing the biggest tours. For example, even Drake's tour. They're the partners on that. With Ticketmaster and all that type of shit. Now, what you're seeing recently is that Live Nation is having some slight competition, and this is where everything is coming from. Okay? I wanna make this very clear to y'all. Now, who are their competition? Keep in mind they're running the game. Their competition or about two to three companies, but one company in particular is what you're going to realize that keeps coming up. And I, I guess to make this, you know, I'm, I'm giving you a little bit of the summary before the whole story. Remember when I said about Lil Baby, I was just like, why is everybody who was pot, who was cool on, who was saying Lil Baby was hot a couple weeks ago, now saying he's cold? This ain't a fan thing. This is a company competition. I'm giving you out a story. Live Nation, who's doing Drake's tour, who's doing all these other tours, who's doing Beyonce's tour, do the biggest tours in the world. They have a monopoly on every artist who wants to go on an arena tour, needs them. Live Nation got outbid for a few artists recently. And there starts the infraction on their market share. Of course, Drake's the biggest. Of course, Beyonce's the biggest. But Lil Baby did not go with Live Nation. Lil Baby went with another company. He went with a company called AEG. You could Google all this, AEG. I think it's AEG or, or is it AEG? Let me see. I think this is it. Yeah, I think this is it. Uh-huh. Is baby on here? Tours. Let's go to tours. Uh, shit's low, long. Hold up. Little baby tour. Let, let's go to there. Okay. We'll probably be able to find out who's throwing a tour. And by the way, th this is where fans like. Without without someone like me, you guys wouldn't even think to get this deep on realizing what's going on, right? Um, let me see if I can find a flyer. Where's the flyer? Okay. It's the IOU tour, right? Okay, let's see if we can find it. Uh, this is the flyer. Okay, here's a flyer. Now, th this means nothing to y'all, but it means everything in the, in the terms of the business. You see where it says right here, AG Torin? That's where Live Nation's name is supposed to be. Okay? 
It's where Live Nation's name is supposed to be. Okay. So, y'all want the tea. I get the tea. I get the tea. I get the tea. Don't ask me how I got the tea, but academics always got the tea. Lil Baby's getting paid a million dollars per show. Live Nation would get that nigga more than 800000 If I said it, it's facts. So, Lil Baby, who was shopping around a tour deal, goes to Live Nation, so how much would you give me for this amount of dates? They're like, ah, we'll give you quarter, we'll give you 750000 So, okay, well, that's kind of a lot of money. I mean, that's more than 300 an occasion, right? Except another company comes in that's trying to compete with Live Nation and says, ah, we'll give you a million. Fuck it. Okay? Now, I'm going to be very, very fair because um, what's happening is on a such corporate level that they're really, for, at least for me, is no size. So I'm going to tell you everything. So this is the re reason why Lil Baby went with this touring company and did not go with Live Nation. Now, it's going to start to crystallize with y'all why every time he cancels a date, it's all over the press. Because Live Nation needs to show to, to embarrass Lil Baby, to show him you thought you was going to get more money going with the ops, but we're going to embarrass you to make your tour look like a flop. Now, that's part of the reason, but also this company who's doing it, they're a little bit ambitious. I'm going to be honest. They're charging a little bit more than Live Nation would normally charge because, remember, they got to pay Lil Baby like a whole quarter million dollars more for every shot, for every, for every stop. But also they wanted more dates. So they put Lil Baby into places like Utah that he can't sell. I'm sorry. He just can't do an arena there. He's a hot artist. He just can't do an arena there. So who do they have on it? They put Kid Leroy. Hey, let me give you the note the notice on this. Kid Leroy can't bring out 10, 15,000 white people in Salt Lake City. I'm sorry. It doesn't happen. So when you see those dates being canceled, that's not Lil Baby. They're canceling the markets that Kid Leroy can't sell out of. But who the fuck gives a fuck about what Kid Leroy could sell? They're just blaming Lil Baby. Oh, he canceled 10 dates. No, Kid Leroy couldn't sell them dates out. Keep in mind, most major U.S. cities where hood niggas is at, which is what this nigga's fan base is, he's selling them out. So I'm going to tell you what's happening. And this is why I didn't just jump on Lil Baby already. Because he's going to have a successful tour. Yes, he's going to cancel a bunch of shit. But his tour was already too big. They're going to cancel a bunch of dates. They're going to compact it, as I said before. And he's still going to have a successful tour. He's just not going to Wichita, Wyoming, or wherever the fuck places in Wyoming are. That's not where he sells out. Bring his ass to Houston. Bring his ass to over, over here in Dallas, Memphis, New York, Philly. Bring his ass to L.A., of course, Atlanta. He's going to do great. But again, I found out the business. The problem here becomes Live Nation don't like competition. The reason why stories being planted in the media about his sales came out really started because he went with a different touring company. Now, I got y'all. I know some of y'all be like, yo, Ack, why are you taking up for this bitch ass nigga, little baby? Like, he talk crazy, but he just showing the album. Well, you're right. Still got to ask the grand. You're right. But I like to be truthful. I connected a lot of dots when I started seeing this shit. Remember I told you, I said, Moneybag Yo is going to be next. You want to know who Moneybag Yo went out with? You Remember I told you about this? Who did Moneybag Yo go out with? Let's go. Money bag yo tour. By the way, his, his some of his days got canceled. Look, look, same headline. Even though by the angle line, money bag tour was wildly like I don't know why they booked some of these days. It's like, come on, no disrespect to money bag yo. Like, baby, uh, money bag yo, nigga, please, right? Okay, let's see if we can find it. 
Oh, his shit was called the Larger Than Life Tour. Let's find the flyer again. Larger Than Life Tour. Remember, they just canceled some dates. What did I tell you, people? What's at the top of the bill? Chat, y'all just got to start believing me. There's no Live Nation. It's this. By the way, this company is owned by a, I think it's a, it's, it's a group of black brothers. So they're trying to compete with Live Nation. And Live Nation is basically telling them, no, little nigga. Like, y'all are little time niggas. We, any, anything that goes bigger to arenas, we get. So you're going to see, you know, and by the way, I'm not, you know, I'm not absolving these guys for, for not selling tickets. They should, they should have never booked some of these venues, but you're going to see press releases on their failures. Why? That other artists in the game will know, bring your ass over to Live Nation if you don't want to get embarrassed. They're going to say, look, you see how baby get embarrassed? You see how money back yo getting embarrassed? Bring your stupid ass over Live Nation. Take the lesser money, but you won't get embarrassed, nigga. That's the play. That's the whole play. I'm telling you what it is, okay? Right. Now, I know some of y'all might be like, yo, ah. Act, you know, we love you, but still, this might be a little facetious. You want to know when the last time this happened? By the way. If you're asking why did Moneybag Yo take this tour instead of going with Live Nation, this touring company's paying these artists at least hundred thousand dollars more. Which, by the way, it, you know, again, they're still gonna have a successful tour. They're just gonna have to cancel the dates they can't sell out because they're they're overbooking. I ain't gonna lie, they're definitely overbooking. They're just doing it for the extra money. They're paying these guys at least hundred thousand dollars more. This is what it is. Okay. <clears throat> Let me connect it to something in the past. I don't know if I can find this on YouTube, but I'm doing this live. I remember back in the day, Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj was upset. Nicki Minaj. Y'all can Google this. Nicki Minaj. Irvin Azoff. I, I, I want you to Google that. So, Nicki Minaj. Right? She said she, uh, in 2021, she was no longer managed by Irvin Azar, blah, blah. Cool. But also, um, let me see. They've scrubbed the internet off, uh, off this. Remember when Nicki Minaj was doing Queen Radio? And she was giving out Cocksucker of the Day or Week Award? Let me see if I can find it. Okay, remember when she lost and everybody was like, yo, they're laughing at Nikki. They said Nikki lost to Stormy and she's salty. She might have been. <laughs> but uh, I don't think there's a, a audio of this anymore. I think it got scrubbed. But look at this. Nicki Minaj hopped on her Beats 1 radio show. By the way, this is years ago. This is 2018, right? Nicki Minaj hopped on her Beast One radio show on Thursday afternoon and came for Travis Scott once again. Initially put them on blast on her show earlier this week. This time she labeled his new manager, Irvin Azoff, as cocksucker of the day. He says the, She said the cocksucker of the day is Irvin Azoff. And I'm going to tell you why. And she went to explain that Azoff was an authority figure at Ticketmaster and also manages Scott. Um, apparently... He took she, that dude was managing Travis Scott at the time. There's this whole thing with Nikki and Travis because Nikki felt salty about that nigga using mad bundles. And look, this is what Nikki said. Allegedly, he tried to put out a smear campaign against my tour and contacted people in media to spread negative things about my tour. She was talking about the Nikki Hendricks tour that got uh, um, um, rescheduled or canceled, whatever you want to call it. And it was taking place the next year without future. And there were reports that tickets were exceed exceedingly low. Okay? Now, again, it's going back to it. Nikki Hendrix tour. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to find the relevant information. And I, I'm not trying to lose y'all in the mix as well. 
From my understanding, and I could be wrong, but I don't want to keep Googling. Nicki Minaj did what these new artists are doing, or Lil Baby did. She went with an alternative touring company to try to get more money and more ownership over a tour that she was doing. Keep in mind, these tours are a huge deal. Drake just did the Capital One Center or Capital One Arena in, 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 um, in Washington, D.C., it gained $5 million in revenue. Now, imagine if Drake's Drake's deal is to is to get paid, I don't know, let's just throw this in the air, $1.5 million per, 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 per show. Well, if you hear that, if you hear that your sales did $5 million and the show is really just you and you're only getting $1.5 million, you'd probably feel away, right? Now, say another company comes in and says, nah, Drake, yo, Drake, listen, we only need half a million from, from each show. We'll pay you three and a half million or three million, right? We'll pay you three million. We take half a million. The rest, we'll pay on production and pay for the venue. Drake might be like, oh, I want to go with that company, right? So I, I'm giving you the game of what's being played behind um, our very eyes in these artists who the majority of them make a lot of their money on tour. These touring companies are now beefing, but they're also beefing with the media. So basically, they're going to be putting out these artists is flopping, right? While when their artists reschedule and shit like that, they'd be like, oh, yeah, you were sick. Um, um, yeah, 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 let's make that up, right? Not defending anyone not being able to sell tickets, but you get to realize there's a bigger business play at hand. Again, people like Nicki Minaj, who whether I like her or hate her, she's always been trying to expose some of these things. Us fans, and for the mo majority of, of fans, we just don't really connect with what she's saying because she's speaking too in deep, right? Okay. By the way, she she made peace with this guy at cer a certain point. So she was calling him a cocksucker in 2018. She later got managed by him. Why? Right, because this thing is obviously very important. Anyway, so l l let me continue the story. And again, this is not a save little baby or save um, money bag it was story. I'm giving you the story of what's going on with Tori. Okay, who just did a tour? And because you might be like, yo, why am I hearing about this ag like you know touring thing? You know who just did an amazing tour with them that nobody talked about? I'll give you the name. You ever heard of this guy? Rod Wave, his tour, Beautiful Mind, I believe, Beautiful Mind tour. What, what company are you going to see again at the top? AG Entertainment, not Live Nation, AG Entertainment. Shit, this even looked like it was cooked up in Microsoft Paint. That's how you know it's some black shit. So Rod Wave who was a huge artist, by the way, you know, this ain't nothing I'm revealing that's behind the scenes, but Rod Wave came on my podcast, if you were watching uh, when he was on Off the Record with me, he said, yo, act, I'm going out and I'm getting $350,000. Of course I'm going to go perform. I don't like to perform, but I go perform. I hear for these shows, and by the way, he invited me to the, um, he invited me to the, the Barclays show, He's he's got getting, or he allegedly got close to five hundred thousand. So his rate. So if you're wondering how they took him from live, or they made sure he didn't go to Live Nation, Live Nation was offering him what he normally gets, three fifty. He said that on my show. He gets three fifty. This company comes and says, "Yo, Rod, you could do the Barclays by yourself. You're that nigga. Like, you know how much money you're gonna generate. We could we could do a deal with you." We'll pay you damn near half a million dollars. Rod Wave took that. He sold out every fucking date. See, Rod Wave is one of them niggas. So, you know, and, and apologies to Rod. Well, Rod Wave didn't give me this information to tell. This is information I know. His normal fee is three fifty. He got paid like damn near a half a million dollars. Sold the whole shit out. You think he's like saying, oh, I should have went with Rod, uh, 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 um, Live Nation? No. He got paid way more for doing a tour that all he had to do was just do his thing. Worked out for him. 
you know who's also who, and, and again i'm telling you why the media presence and the media like the slander of like baby or whoever is so strong because rod wave did his shit successfully without a hitch guess who's also doing their tour without a hitch you ever heard of this guy playboy cardi he's not going with live nation either imagine how much money he was offered playboy cardi tour just look now here's the thing they can't do it to playboy cardi or rod wave them niggas have a cult following that's gonna sell out tickets regardless you can't fuck with them you can't fuck with them and also them niggas don't be going trying to like do like what baby did that was fucked up he tried to say, well, if I went on tour with Dirk and I did all these these venues, shit, me and Dirk got the same fan base, so I don't need to bring Dirk this time. Let me bring a white boy who could probably bring out, like, the Midwest, and that was just a failure, right? With Cardi, he's not trying to bring out nobody weird with him. It's like, nigga, you are, I'm going to see Cardi. <laughs> like, you don't go to the Cardi show to see, like, I don't know, to see Ice Spice, nigga. You went to see Cardi, nigga. That's it. So Cardi's not going to have those problems. But who did Cardi go with? Let's see if we can find the tour flyer. Some This might be boring to some of y'all, and I apologize. Hold on. I'm trying to find it. Just type it in. Uh, okay. No. Nah. Where's he at this shit at? Okay. Well, I think I could even just look at this. Uh, AG Tour Play Work Card. Uh, wow. His shit is not even that connected to. <laughs> Uh, to the company. Mm, let me look at the site. Let's do Interscope. Okay. This one you're probably going to have to believe me because I, I don't want to keep Googling from here on till, till tomorrow. Um, but Playboy Cardi's tour is also through the same company. So the same company that's doing Lil Baby's tour, right? That's doing Money Bag Yo's tour, that did Rod Wave's tour, is doing Cardi's tour. That is taking a chunk out of Live Nation profits. Live Nation, who, by the way, right now, they're doing an amazing job with 50 Cent. Like, you know, like 50 Cent is having this Get Rich or Die trying to, or this shit's going crazy. They've always had, like, complete monopoly on the touring game. And you have these guys who are coming in saying, oh, we could get the same venues as Live Nation, but we'll just pay you way more. So I I, I I don't know the figures on what Cardi gets, but what I told you about um, Raw Wave, I'm right. Got half a goddamn near half a million, and Live Nation wanted to pay him uh, eight. No, no, wanted to pay him three fifty. Um, Baby went with them because Baby was being offered like about like quarter million, and they were down to give Baby a million dollars per show. Um, Money back, yo. I don't know the exact figure, but it was definitely more. Right now, granted, I ain't gonna lie to the money bag yo shit, and and I'll say this, and I'll just get off it. Money bag yo should have never agreed to a fucking arena tour with finesse two times and sexy red as your like, <laughs> like come on, bro, like you finesse two times and sexy red, my nigga, y'all should focus on selling out the club, not the fucking arena. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like yo, my. <laughs> My pussy green, my booty all brown. Like, that is not finna do it. I'm sorry. Not in no goddamn Barclays. No, 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 no. No, no, no. <laughs> okay? <laughs> it's cool when they do it. It's a problem. No, that ain't finna do it. Okay? <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's that's not gonna happen. So, uh, right here, you know what I mean? And by the way, you see, they got Memphis. You see, they're gonna sell out Memphis like two nights in a row, some shit like that. It's got to fix up a little bit. Fix up a little bit with this one. This was a weak last line. I ain't going to lie to you. But I still love Moneybag Yo, and I'm a supporter of uh, Sexy Red. Okay. So that's the, the touring update. So we're in the middle of a Live Nation beef with 
this other company called AG Torrent. AG Torrent is going to these entertainers saying, yo, listen, we'll give you $100,000, $200,000 more. However, the price of the tickets are going to be inflated because at the end of the day, it's still business. So they're going, they're going to put a little bit more on the ticket price. And then also they're going to try to book dates to get, because, you know, think about it. Say for little Baby, right? If they say, oh, Lil Baby, we're doing 36 cities. You know what Lil Baby's thinking? 36 cities, y'all giving me a million dollars per city. That means I'm going to walk away $36 million. Like, what the fuck? Oh, let's hear what Live Nation got to say. They're giving me $750,000, and they're only talking about 20 dates. Like, wait, hold up now. We got to... So that's 14, 15 million versus 36 million. I think that's kind of easy to make that decision. So that's really what's happening. You know what I mean? Again, these artists is racking up a lot of bread um, when it comes to like, you know, these touring. By the way, Drake is going to end up, I don't know if you see, uh, I posted on my page, I think. <clears throat> Drake's going to end up breaking the arena record for revenue. Like, you know, comparatively speaking he has a small stage he's not doing too much he's he's selling out like for example when i went to the barclays and kendrick was there his setup allowed for only maybe like twelve thousand people to be in the venue drake got a stage it's just in the middle it's not moving it's not doing none of that other shit um he, with with drake his stage is probably you could book 16 17 000 in there you get what i mean so what does that mean yeah, both sold out, right? Because Kendrick sold out this thirteen thousand, and Drake sold out the seventeen thousand. But who who will garner the higher ticket prices? Drake, you know, what I mean, Drake concert tickets are being resold for three thousand, four thousand dollars, right? Not only that, Drake has more people at his concert compared to Kendrick. Why did Kendrick have less? Not that he couldn't do it. Is that because he has an elaborate show? His stage takes up this amount of space. He needed. His orientation required um, less people be in the building. It is what it is. So Drake's going to break a lot of records. Um, I, I don't know if you see when I posted this. Did I post it? But Drake, uh, where is it? Where is it? No, maybe I didn't post it. Okay. However, Drake, oh, here we go. Drake becomes the first rapper to earn over $5 million in a single arena concert in the U.S. with $5 million each night at the Capital One Arena on July 28th and 29th. Like, chat, we're pocket watchers. Let's do this. Let's, get, let's see what this means. Capital One Arena, Capital One Arena capacity. So it's a 20,000 20, um, cedar, right? But that's for like um, the Washington Wizards game and when they're doing the NHL Washington Capitals. Really, Drake probably sold about seventeen to 18,000 tickets. The reason why I got to say this, they're going to mark off certain places that, you know, is just not going to be habitable for fans to be. So let's let, let's be nice and say it was 17,500. So 17,500, uh, which that was capacity for Drake each night. Let's let's get our handy dandy calculator out and figure out how how much the average ticket price was for him to get get five million dollars. Okay, bang. Let's do this. Where's the calculator? Got it right here. Give me one second. Y'all can see my calculator. Good. So we're we're saying. So uh, what did this say? Okay, it said. 5.032 million, right? So let's do this. 5.032000. So th that's 5.032 million. And let's divide this total revenue by 17,500. 17,500. And it shows that on average, the ticket price for no matter where you were at in that building um, was about two hundred and eighty seven dollars. So shit. I mean, think about this. 
If you go to a little baby show, if you're paying this, you're on the floor right next to him. Even if you're in a nosebleeds at Drake's concert, this is still the average ticket price. So it it, it, it is what it is. Um, so the average ticket price at like probably like a, a baby show is probably going to be like maybe $90, $100. Drake's charging a pretty penny. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do this later on for, um, um, what's the queen's name? Beyonce. Beyonce is charging an arm and a leg. Like, pfft. I think Beyonce is having people signing mortgages to come watch her. But th this is where that number comes from. So uh, $287 on average, and it got Drake $5 million for that single concert. How much of that $5 million did he take home? I'm pretty sure the arena, his production, stage and all that probably took a million to a million and a half. I would think there, there would be about $3 million or $3.5 million left. Obviously, you got to pay 21 Savage some shit. I don't know. Let's say those 21 Savage, like, how much you think Twenty One Savage getting these days, right? Like, I'm, like I'm doing the math with y'all. Like, like we pocket watch in real time, right? So he gets five million dollars, right? I, I'm being very nice and saying for production that night, security, the venue, any other miscellaneous charges, it's gonna be a million and a half. So minus one point five is still three and a half million dollars left, right? Now, granted, Drake's probably in a tour deal. Right, which means even if he gained five, he's not getting different amounts per night. He gets a set amount. But let's see if he was just getting just all the profit, like niggas say, Bad Bunny is getting. Like, I don't even want to talk about what, what what the details are on Bad Bunny. They say Bad Bunny was getting at least seven to eight million dollars. Like, no cap. Bad Bunny was getting seven to eight million dollars because his concert was generating like twelve to thirteen. He was doing. He was doing these stadiums. So anyway, so if if, if Drake, if Drake, um, if there's three point five million dollars, how much do you think he's paying Savage? What y'all think? What y'all think my boy Savage getting? Yo, yo, ain't we assholes, yo? We be pocket watching everybody, bro. How much we thinking that that Savage getting? Let me see what y'all saying. Okay, nah, I don't, I, nah, nah, I don't, I don't, I don't see Savage getting a mill. I don't see Savage getting a mill. I'm gonna tell you why I said I don't. So, so let, let's do the math. I'm giving you out these real numbers. So, if Baby got paid a million dollars, right? Baby has to sell the tour by himself. He's the star, and by the way, arguably he's a bigger star than Twenty One, right? Keep in mind what the Live Nation offered him. Not a mill. They offered him seven hundred fifty thousand. So if I'm thinking about if I'm thinking about um 21, I think 21 is getting between 400 and 600 thousand. I think if 21 was going to go on tour, it would probably be half a million to to, to 600 thousand, right? However, here's the thing: you're going with Drake, so when you're not when when you're on Drake's bill, Drake's selling them tickets. Like no disrespect, you know, 21 is my man's. It's like. It, we don't need you to sell tickets as much as Drake is doing. So you're going to have to take a discount. So if you normally get like, let's say he normally gets 600 a show. I could see 500, 500 K being the thing. 500 K. Yeah, if you, if, if it was your tour and you're the headliner, you get 600, but you're on Drake's tour. Who's selling all these tickets. You're getting 500. It's fine. So, if we take off that that point five right here, which would be the five hundred thousand, um, oh, my math is three point five minus point five, there'll be about three million dollars that Drake probably got for that night, if it was varied per night. You know, I'm pretty sure Drake's in a touring deal that's probably paying him. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Maybe he's already getting three. Because they have merch there. Like, maybe all that's involved where they're like, hey, listen, Drake, we'll give you three or three and a half. Um, because this $5 million number right here does not have to do with merch that they're selling there. Other deals they could probably come up with, including, like, you know, 
I don't think venues are giving away their bar or or their food, but still, like, people are gonna spend more than just a concert ticket. So, like, this this five point whatever million is only for tickets. Then there's probably another million dollars in revenue coming in just off merch and all this other shit that fans are gonna buy there. You get what I mean? So I'm gonna say that Drake probably getting like three million dollars, three million. Three, two to three. I think that's dope. Somebody says Drake said himself he's getting five million a night. Nah, he's not getting five million a night. That, that that's fucking impossible, <laughs> bro. We just seen the math. Like if Drake says he's getting five million dollars a night, nobody else is getting paid. <laughs> like what the fuck? <laughs> like Drake, <laughs> bro. Look, somebody says twenty one definitely getting a million. Man, I don't think Drake giving that nigga no million dollars a show, bro. You think Drake giving 21 a million a show? I mean, I ain't gonna lie. There's a great case for it because if I'm 21, I do got some leverage. Drake, I'm on your biggest hits for the last, like, for the last two years, and we just did an album. Nigga, you need me. You need me, nigga. You need me. I, I'm not, like, some random nigga you're bringing on top. You kind of need me. Shit, I think if Drake, if if twenty one make half a mil a show, and if Drake make two and a half mil, I think that's a big W for these niggas, man. All right, okay, all right. Enough pocket watching for a little bit. Um, by the way, welcome to the stream. Thank you guys for watching. Um, so to uh, all my people on Rumble, thank you guys for um tuning back in if you're watching on YouTube or if you're watching even on um Twitch. You know, everybody is family all right we should probably get into some other stuff man um i, I really quickly want to um 